What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. I I was debating whether I was going to talk about this. But anyway, Tia, she had a response for people who were telling her that she should get back with her ex-husband. Now, first, I want to say she was talking, I believe, to her followers who were probably adding her and more than likely the people who were implying that she should get back with her ex-husband were mainly men, I would think, and then maybe some women. I want to say that in my commentary, I've never implied that she should get back with him because like I've said multiple times, I don't know what was going on in the household. I, and honestly, it really isn't any of our business, but because these people come in here and they make this stuff news, we know about it, right? And yeah, we could choose to ignore it and, and not say anything about it. And there's a lot that I ignore and I don't say anything about, but My only issue is the fact that she just got divorced. She went on, in my opinion, a divorce tour, so to speak. And there's nothing wrong with trying to be positive and give people advice or uplift people or to have yourself be in what some people would see in a hard situation, but you're trying to be upbeat and positive about it and and share your views and opinions on situations and and whatever that's fine but I felt like because she had been with this man for so many years and she made the decision to pull the plug and she was talking about self-love so much that I feel like she really just needs to spend the time just focusing on herself And so to get back into dating so quickly after being with one person for all of those years, it just makes people wonder and question, right? Like what really was going on in that marriage? And when you, you know, sounds like you were probably missing out on something and now you're trying to finally get it at this point in time. And I'm not saying anything about her age. I'm just speaking about the fact that She made the decision to get out of the marriage. The divorce has been finalized. And then it's like almost immediately she's jumping into dating again. And I believe, not even believe I did. I did do a commentary where I was like, is she trying to get what her sister has? And if you know, then you know. You know her sister Tamira. And if you know, then you know. And if that's what she wants, then that's fine. But... I just felt like her doing this interview that she recently did that went viral where she was asked about dating and she was just talking about the pool of people who are allegedly (laughs) available right now is just so different. And no, she's not going to give up, but it's, it's just not what she thought it was going to be. That's fine, but... I probably wouldn't have even talked about it. I just felt like it was embarrassing. And even though she was laughing it off and and saying, you know, do you have a shot of tequila and, you know, trying to make light of the situation, I do believe she feels that it's like, whoa, this is pretty depressing. But again, I was never implying that she should get back with her ex-husband. I was just saying, stop talking about it. And no, if someone... I had someone say this in my comment section once and they were like, well, someone asked the question. You don't have to answer every question that you're asked, right? When did saying, I don't really want to talk about that. I don't have a comment about that. When did that become wrong to do that? People can still do that. But these days, it's almost like people want to share everything. And I almost kind of long for the days when we didn't really know a whole lot about some of these people. But this is the age that we live in now, and I don't think that it's ever going to revert 
or go backwards. So my thing was, since she was talking so much about self-love, then maybe she should just spend this time right now focusing on herself and loving herself. And if there is that person, then that person will come along when the time is right. It's probably because it's just not the right time. So when people were making comments and saying she should get back with her ex-husband, she responded and she said the following, and I'm just reading what she's saying. A word from capital M me. (laughs) So me, since narratives are being made without my consent. Hear it here and only here. Just because the dating life is complicated doesn't mean I'm going to go back to something that no longer served me. That's like implementing if I don't book an audition. And actually, that's the wrong word. I think she meant implying. So maybe she was doing speech to text. (laughs) But she says, that's like implementing if I don't book an audition or a part as an actor, capital, right away, I'm going to give up on my dreams. Please just stop. I ain't that weak. Please move on because I have. Thank you. Next. Well, the fact of the matter is, if she wasn't out here talking so much about it, people wouldn't even really be making comments about it. And yeah, there may be some people that are like, girl, go get back with that man. Go get back with your ex-husband. I was never one of the people that said that. I just felt like she's just sharing too much. When she got divorced, when she announced it, okay, fine. You made the announcement because on the outside looking in and what they were putting out there and what they portrayed, at least she looked happy. I can't say he was all smiles and giggles in all of the photos that we saw of them together, honestly. But there's some men that they kind of have the resting bitch face (laughs) so there are some men that they just don't really smile like that but that doesn't mean that they're not happy but she at least looked happy so I understand her making the announcement that she was getting divorced because when I guess if people were seeing her never with him anymore or whatever then people would start to question so it's like okay I'm gonna let the people know so they know but it went on and on and on and on from that where she just continued to talk about self-love and I'm going to play this clip of her on the Today Show last year as a matter of fact when she's asked about what led to her filing for divorce I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness Mm. I feel like women we tend to focus on everybody else's happiness um, making sure that everybody else is okay, meaning our children. <laughs> <laughs> meaning, you know, our children, our friends, our you know, family. But at the end of the day, it's about self love. And when you start to really work on yourself, love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and all, then all of a sudden, there's this awakening. So. You know, when you talk about how you spent so much time focusing on everyone else and then when you start to focus on yourself and realize that you're not happy, you know, all that stuff that she was saying, I just feel that for her to jump right in to try to find, I'm not even saying to find another husband because that may not even be what she wants. There are a lot of women that once they, (laughs) once they're done with marriage, they're done with marriage. They're not trying to get married again and that's fine. Also, but I just feel that her talking about self love so much because she did, she really was going on a pretty much a tour talking about this. Do that, focus on yourself, and it, it just feel like it jumped from divorce to dating instead of divorce to yourself, focus on you. And I'm not here to say how long that should take. It's different for different people. But again, they were married for 14 years. It's a long time. It's a long time. And 
he's probably not wasting any time either, like some people might already be saying, and that's fine as well. But again, she was the one that was talking so much about self-love. And because it really is now very different out here, as well as she is older, she's not old, but she's older than she was, it's going to take some time of her doing a whole lot more self-reflection therapy like she was preaching about self-love and a lot of times that means doing it without dating so if she wasn't out here sharing that information nobody would really have anything to say let alone the ones that were saying, girl, there's nothing out here. Go back and get with that man. I never was one of the people that was saying that. But I do understand why some people would even suggest it. I never would say that, but I understand why some people had suggested it. As women, I'm not talking about men because, you know, anyway. But a lot of people just felt like, and I did too, I felt like she was really going through some stuff and going through some emotional things. And sometimes it's, especially just based on what we know, because no, we don't know everything that's going on. And a lot of people are just basing it off of him making less money than her or whatever. But she chose to get with that man knowing that in the very beginning. But again, I'm fine with her not being in the marriage anymore if that's not what she wanted. But I'm just, my point of the matter was that continuing to talk about this dating and how rough it is and what is going on out here and things are so different and she couldn't even call him by his name she said when I was dating my ex like you were married to the man for 14 years you can't say when I was dating Corey and how he respected me and how he treated me or whatever so it's just to me it did come a bit across as some regret that was there but you know people they make decisions sometimes and their decisions are not the best decisions I'm not saying that you should wallow in the regret you recognize the decisions that you made and then you try to do better moving forward so I was just saying maybe she just shouldn't be out here talking about it so much it's fine for her to share her views and opinions and all of that I'm not saying that she shouldn't speak at all but save, save a bit. Don't share all of that because it does give people the thought to just talk about, okay, well, hey, to us, it didn't seem like it was that bad. So maybe you should get back with your husband. Again, I never suggested that, but I understand why some people may have done that. So for her to come and clap back, so to speak, at people saying, you know, I'm not going back to something that didn't serve me. Okay, fine. No one's saying that you have to do that, but the ones who were suggesting it, I don't think the majority of them meant any harm by it. So she didn't have to come back in that way. So it could have been just like, guys, look, I appreciate it, but I'm, you know, I'm doing my best moving forward and loving myself and self-love and self, 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 (laughs) like she had been talking about before. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that briefly because I didn't think that the clapback was necessary, but whatever. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.